it's marked from two seeker and uh, we're in Seoul I think it's 594 something like that but I mean to start right off uh, yesterday I uploaded two videos and I don't know what happened to the quality of them I just have no clue they're pretty clear on my end but we'll, I'm gonna have to reload or redo I apologize but to start off right here, look at this, how this section here looks like somebody just swiped this right away, right, and then placed, let's see how focused we can get, look at this item, see the eye, see how it's a weird carving, looks like it's on some type of base, looks like there's another base there, look at all this weird stuff, now they did a little blur in here, but not bad. Look at this item next to it. Look at this. Looks to be like a metal, some type of metal buckle. See, there's something attached there. Almost looks like uh, a ring. Let's see how close I can get. That's no rock. That's a manufactured, it looks to be like some type of buckle or connector. Uh, you could see, see here how it comes up. It's like a comes to a point, comes down, looks like there's another connector to it. See how close I can get. It's going to blur, but I'll see how close we can get you. Just to give you an idea for those guys on tablets and stuff. Alright, let's come down here. Look at this thing. Looks to be like maybe a piece of piping that's just over the year just calcified. This almost looks like some type of chain links piled just in dirt. Then you see this. This is where NASA comes to work. You see this? Now picture this. Comes up, it's a face. Comes around. Now you see how square it is where they cut it off? See this coming out the side? Looks like a mouth there would be part of the nose. Now picture it comes up, the eyes. This is what I mean about NASA's trickery. Either this is busted off perfect. See the mouth, how the mouth has got something coming out of it. I believe NASA just worked on that. But See how this looks like a statue? Parts of a statue coming up. Like where there would be the rest of it. See how it looks like maybe half of the nose. See the symmetry, how perfect it is. There's a formula for basically the perfect face. I don't know the exact dimensions, but there is a formula to beauty. Now, like the Mona Lisa or something, I think is like the perfect uh, symmetry. You know, I, don't know. I never really thought she was that beautiful, but no offense to anybody. Look at this weird thing, how it comes up. See how it's like a teardrop? Looks like there's something carved there. Maybe a little face down there. When it comes to some of this weirdness, but this really stood out in this piece of piping right here. I mean, right in the picture. Now, you see what I mean about this? How it looks like maybe there was something here, maybe blurred, or it just looks strange. Very strange to me. So, you know, it almost looks like it's square cut. Maybe the stuff is around it is paste it in, I don't know, it just looks weird. Or, it could just be a rock in front of it, There's something coming up like this, but it does look like something was blurred out here. I, I mean, I don't know. Or it could just be rocks. I'm just trying to see how this little weird thing is here, standing up, but, I mean, it's thin, carved, I mean, Sometimes the stuff right in the front of the picture is very strange. But, you know, you see how this has got this little thing in the front? It's got like little antlers coming, you know, little little things coming out. And then this, and then this little section in here looks blurred. Very strange. Yeah, right, let's move on. Look at this little thing. 
looks to be carved. There's some of NASA's blending. See how that's blended in? All of this stuff. They did such a good job at blending it. I can't even focus on it. Let's move. Let's see what we got. Look at this stuff that they left. You see this statue head? See how close I can get in. See how they blend it all with the color on? I just can't even... Can't even, it's hard for me to even get any type of focus on it. That's the way they blend it in. See it right there? How there's a statue head. There's the eye. It's like all like flared back. See the carvings in the bottom? That would be the mouth. Then you got this triangle piece coming up with carving in it. There's another piece. There's a bunch of silly this piece laying on the ground. Just sideways. Look at these. Look at these carvings. Some of them look either blurred by NASA or they're buried. As you can see, there's something carved into that. Then you come up here. Look at this beautiful carving. Look at this. There's the eye, the nose. There's some type of hook coming down. Looks to be something in its mouth. Then you see how NASA blurs this stuff and blends it in. There's more here, but they just blended it. Or the computer missed it. Then we come over to this original section that I showed you. See how that's all cleared out? Perfect. Looks like somebody came in with a rake or a shovel and just cleared that section right out or NASA just blurred it right out either one so all these little there's like all little trinkets and stuff there look at this weird thing it needs to be like a face or something covered and these you know people are saying that these little things are people and I'm catching these all over the place I'm telling you, I really don't think they're people. I think they're statues. Um, I think there are people. I think we've caught a couple cases of that. But a lot of them are little carvings. Intricately painted. I mean, just beautiful. Look at this weird thing. Look at this. There's something down the center. It's got that piece coming up in the top. Look at this beautiful carving. Look at this. Comes down, comes up. I found something else carved like this. I think I called it Gumby. Uh, that must be some type of symbol for them because it's exactly the same. If you go back and check through my videos, look at this thing. It almost looks like a bale of hay tied or something. Just very, very weird. See that carving? Look at that. Now, anybody with a quarter quarter of a mind, you, know, you can't tell me that nature carved that out. I would be more inclined to believe ants carved that out than uh, nature. So if you're going to say anything, just say, yeah, ants carved it. I'm more inclined to believe that. Look at this thing coming up. Look at the shadow underneath it. Another statue. I tell you, these people really loved carving. Architecture and carving. What we're missing out on as a society and history, it's just insane because they really knew their stuff. Look at this piece of thin. I think these I've, these thin, thin uh, carvings are all over the place. You can see the shadow. So You see how thin it is? I think those are either rock or maybe some type of tin. Here, see how these little mounds, they just pop up in certain places, very small. Look like they have little trinkets and stuff all over them. See this weird circular thing that just comes out, maybe like a bone. 
Look at this back here. Looks like some type of hut with an opening. Now, I'm, it's hard to get a distance. That thing could be huge. Let's see how close I can get in. Any more? Look at this carving back here. I think NASA blurred this. That I think is blurred. Right there. Now to my new viewers. Uh, I just want to explain to you because I'm getting new viewers. Uh, by the thousands. Um, I use a handheld camera. Look at this statue. Look at this. I mean, this stuff has been worn. Who knows? This stuff could be thousands upon thousands of years old, some of it. These could just be old cemeteries. I think these are all these. I think most of these are gravestones. But uh, to my new viewers, I uh, just want a, a quick explanation. Look at this. Looks like a piece of either something called a wrinkled metal or something. Um, I use a handheld camera. I know most people use uh, software. And then you see, here's the statue pointing out, okay? This way. And then look how this is all opened here. See that? Maybe like there was, they maybe over, they had plants or something in there when they first buried the person. But you see how the head's here, in the length of this, which I, I think is about the size of maybe a, a full-grown body. Maybe that's something pretty recent that was dug into there to bury the person, and that's like a headstone. Um, I use a handheld camera instead of video, uh, the video capture software. A lot of them that I've tried, I just can't get the quality and what I'm looking for. And why I don't put it on a tripod, if I just leave it stationary on a tripod, uh, it just it starts to uh, get the lines in the screen. I'm going directly off the screen, that's all I'm going to say. I've messed around with different filters over the screen and some stuff, but I'm not going to get into all of that. All I'm just going to say is that I use a handheld. I tried many different cameras. I came to one that has given me the result. Now listen, I'm no expert. I've been doing this most of my life, you know, studying space, pictures, um, astronomy, you know, but by no means does it make me an expert. I, you know, I can't, uh, I can't go into court and certify a picture. Can I look at a picture and tell you what's been edited? Yeah. Can I look at a picture and pull stuff out that's been edited? Yeah. Can I show you some strange stuff in these pictures that NASA's trying to cover up? Oh, hell yeah. That's guaranteed if you watch my videos. The handheld is giving me the best. Look at this. Looks like a statue. See all the carvings in the side of it? It's just falling right over on its side. You see, like, the detail of that? Some of these things do not show up when I use the video uh, capture software. Why? I have no clue. But they're here in the pictures. Look at this piece. Looks like an old piece of metal. Now there's a bunch of us that are doing this stuff. What's up in the sky 37, Mars anomalies, Olympus sky, Mars on mast. You know, we each have our own style. Which is great because we each are bringing something to the table. And we all are going to be loading our stuff up to one website called whatsupinthesky.com. It's going to be incredible. You're going to be able to go to one spot, watch your videos on here, get all excited, and then go to one spot and do a little more. 
Look at this weird statue. Look at this over time. Now look at this. NASA definitely worked on this. Go with me here. One eye, two eyes. There's some type of nose. There's the top of the head coming down. Look at this big mouth that's opened on it. Now yeah, it could be a rock. But look at look at how it's there's a 3D object here that's blurred. Look at this stuff. It almost looks like there's sticks and some type of uh Oh my god, look at this stuff. Look at this. NASA just destroyed these beautiful pictures. Look at this. It almost looks like uh, some type of wooden hut. Look at it, how it comes across. It looks like it's got thatching or something in it. Look at this statue in the back of it. Look at it. There's a shadow there. Oh my god. Look at how beautiful that is. Let me see what I can get. Now, let me see how much of this I can get. Look at this. Look at this little statue here. There's a head, a neck. It looks like legs. Look at that. Look at how this is. That's weird. Oh, that's just thin metal bent. Look at this. Look at this back here. See, now I believe this is going up this way. But this blur that NASA puts on it, it almost buries this stuff. See how this looks like a little platform? There's something on it. And then you come up here, it looks like another headstone. See, look at that angle. See how this comes up? Another angle. How it comes across. Look at this. Look at how that's blocked. And there's a hole. I believe I'm going to show you the picture from out here. Alright. Now, you would walk. This is going to be going up a hill. Up. Somehow NASA tw is twisting these pictures and we're not getting a 3D effect. Somehow. Or it's the blur they're putting on it. You see this? See how they blurred this all in? Let me see how close I can get you guys into this stuff because you gotta really see this. I, I need you to see this stuff. Because if you see what I'm seeing, it, it brings my heart rate up. That's how that's how much I love this stuff. Look at this. These look like wooden tools, which look, look at that, it looks like a big hammer. Look at this, how they left this stuff here. Look at this. This is like a thatched hut. <laughs> Look at the statues they left out here. Look at this stuff that they just carved. I mean, they were just masters. What I really want to know is what kind of tools. I'm sure NASA's come across the tools. What kind of tools did these guys use? Look at this. Look at this. You see the square platform? Look. Let me see how I get you in here. Look at this. Look at this face right here. Where that dot is, when I move it, there's a face there. I know it's going to blur, guys. I know. Just stick with me. Stick with me. There you go. You see how they blurred this? This is a platform. There's something in front of it. Look, see the statue in front of it? There's another little statue they blurred. You see the box? It's in, it's raised up in some type of like box. Look at all the stuff sticking up out of it. Look at the face. You see the shadow? See, NASA's blurring this stuff, but they're missing the shadows. See the shadow that this face is leaving? Look at this. You see the shadow it's leaving? See how they blur it? Just a quick glance, you're not going to catch this stuff. You see what I'm talking about? If you don't have a trained eye to notice this stuff, 
you're going to blow right over it. Your mind will only recognize this stuff when I point it out to you. That's how good NASA is at doing this stuff. Because I can show you this, and then until I say, hey, listen, that's a face, then it's going to start coming. It's, your mind's going to pull it out. It's weird. It's just amazing how NASA's doing this stuff. This stuff is really there. I promise you there's shadows. If it wasn't there, you, they wouldn't be making shadows. I don't lie to you guys. The shadow never lies. Remember that. When you're looking at my pictures and I start showing you anomalies, just look at look for shadows on some of the bigger stuff. Look at this. See this hut? It looks like a hut or something in the back. This picture is just jam-packed. It's sick. Now, I want to show you something. This, I'm going to show you how NASA pulls this. I don't want to say the word, but... I know there's little kids that watch this. Look at this. See how this is up? Some type of statue. See this? What the hell is here to make that kind of shadow? You know what's there? NASA's BS. NASA took black and just blacked this out. There's something back there. What's there? What's going to make that that big of a shadow? Do you know how big of an object I need to make that shadow? Do you have any idea? How big of an object I need to make that shadow? Try to calculate it. See? NASA just came in and just bl blurred it out. See how this stands up? So there's something there. There's something in the back. Look at this. They blacked that out. They blacked the edge of that out. See how this, this, this almost looks like it comes around. Look at this thing up here. It looks like it's got windows, some type of window. See how they put all this blur up here? See this? All this nonsense. This is all blur up here. See how some of it is faded in? See how the blur? See it? See what's behind it? See this metal object behind it? They can only go so much with this this blur and then it just you know doesn't look natural anymore so they figured out up in the corner here who's gonna look here look at this look at this beautiful thing look at all of this stuff here silver objects gold objects look at this it almost looks like there's a bunch of balls or cylinders or marbles lined up on the ground which I have seen in other videos there's like a silver or brass balls that they use look at this thing they covered up look at it. it almost looks like a truck look at this just go with me for a second this would be the back of the truck see the back here see how they blurred it out See this how it comes down? Here's the window. There's the hood coming down. Look, there's the tire. See it? See? There's the rim. There's the center of the rim. You come back. There's something there. See how they blurred this whole thing out? Look at it. There's the side rail. Here's the side, the back of it. There's something you can see the top of it. See that? See how they blurred all that? Now look. It almost looks like there's tracks here in the dirt that they didn't blur. See this? It almost looks like maybe somebody went around and then went. Let's see what we got here. Now this is all the way zoomed out. I'm going to give you just a view of this picture. And we have no real sense of scale. I mean, some of this stuff can be just astro... I mean, just huge. I mean, we could be... They could be playing with us so much that this here could be the size of uh, an apartment building. I mean, who knows? Like, these monuments could just be huge. I mean, when I say huge, I mean huge. 
big, big time. Look at this, how this stands up. See how NASA put this this blur up here to throw you off? See how this comes up? But we have no sense of size on any of this. They're cutting pictures together. I mean, they're just making a mess. See here, these carvings. If Chris at Mars Anomaly watches this, I need to take a look at that, that part where I, I think there's a truck buried in there. They blurred. See how they blurred this out? See the thing on top of it? Or behind it? See this here? Look at this. They blurred that out. You can see part of it still, but. This looks like a branch coming out. See how this looks like just branches laying here? Just chopped up branches. Look at this thing leaning against here. Looks like maybe some type of old painting. You see how there's something on it? And the different colors. Guys. The words that want to come out of my mouth. That's how excited I am. I can't because I know little kids watch this stuff. But these past three days, my head wants to explode. It's just unbelievable. This is what I've been waiting for, this stuff. They're leaving a lot more in here. Oh, yeah, they are blurring. I mean, they're really doing a job on these pictures. But they're, either there's so much stuff, their computer, the computer's missing it, or they're leaving this in and just slowly filtering this stuff down into society. I mean, that's the way I believe disclosure was going to be had anyway. It wasn't going to be on the Channel 5 New York News or Channel 4 New York News. Listen, here's NASA, blah, blah, breaking news. There's life. No, there would be utter chaos. I believe people would be committing suicide. People would be killing each other. People would be fighting over religion storm in the White House. I mean, it would just be, I, I, I don't know, I just, I don't have much faith that that's the way, uh, that would be the proper way. I, I just don't think people, I know most people can handle it, but there's those few that are going to ruin it for the rest of us. So, I believe that disclosure, it's going to be slow, deliberate, but slowly filtered into society very slowly and I think we're all a part of it now and you're a part of it you're looking at history whether you think of it like that a piece of history that's been held from you it's been withheld as our government would say for the good of everybody for the good of the people for national security Alright guys, you know, like always, I want to thank everybody. Yeah, we're coming up on uh, almost 70,000 views. I want to thank you in just probably about two months. You know, this is some of my latest. Latest uh, videos, some really good stuff. Uh, 
Got to check these guys out. These are my boys. Look at this. BP Earth Watch Goonies. If you're into fireworks, you got to check Goonie out, man. <laughs> That's one crazy bastard. You know, if you uh, if you like the fireworks, like I do, everybody enjoys little fireworks now and then. I mean, look at this. All all positive stuff. I mean. Nine, nine, we're getting up to like 96, 97 percent positive stuff. I mean, we're just you know getting once in a while some you know weirdo that just you know I guess it's got nothing to do. But you know, 152. It's quite sad looking at statue. They blurred a lot of stuff, but that didn't stop you. And uh, we hope you feel that. You know, my boy will. You know, all you guys. I mean, just positive, 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 positive and more positive just I'm speechless you know it's just you know, Rick really good guy a lot of great conversations with him you know Chris what can you say infamous infamous with the inverting you know a lot of great conversations with her serenity you know it's just all good all good stuff Look at that beautiful couple. Look at that beautiful. Look at that. Maybe someday I'll be going to their wedding. Right, Will? Maybe someday Will will invite me to that wedding. I'm not looking to be a best man or nothing. You know, that would take too much time away from uh, my anomaly finding and research, but, you know, wouldn't mind being there. Hint, hint. And I've been getting a lot of people, you know, to hear my dog barking in the bound, or to hear me talking about pit bulls and dogs and Fern Dog Rescue in New Jersey. You know, if you got a couple extra dollars, and you got it in your heart, you love animals, you know, these girls over there could use a little help. Uh, we throw them a couple extra dollars. You know, if anybody ever wanted to help out Fern Dog Rescue, F E R N, in New Jersey, I think it's called well, you know. Donate a couple dollars, tell them Mark and uh, Emily sent you. You're, you know, you'd be doing a really great thing. This is a picture I took uh, a couple months ago up at the mountains when we were doing some hiking. There's my girl Emily, when she was a little puppy. Emily could use a little editing. 